about this? You gonna have one? Yeah, I'll take a one. It's not, eh? You see? Okay, watch it. Alright. Big dog got me right. Penny, who let me out like this? Who let me out like this, Penny? Looking real rough, though. Um, where do we start, though? I'm sorry if my hair is looking fucking crazy. It is what it is. I gotta go to the gym later, so I'm not gonna try and get all pretty for the video. Y'all gonna have to deal with it. It's just the real me. This is what the fuck you gotta sign up for. Episode three. This is, a, this is gonna be a weird episode. This is gonna be probably the only weird episode. The first two weeks, I kinda, like the first two videos, you know, I filmed a lot. I did my intros, I did my outros, and I was kinda just trying to figure out what worked and what didn't work. And then episode three came around and I, I was just all over the place. I was, I got into my head a little bit. I was, I was doubting myself. I was, I lost, I lost some ideas. I, I didn't pull, pull through on some ideas. I, didn't really have a direction and, and you could kind of see that in episode two just how how the video ended so quickly i don't want to keep them boring but i don't want to keep them just fast and just ran through and and doesn't really feel like an episode of we accomplished anything so i think we'll be back on track with the videos when episode four comes out i think episode four will come out and i think episode four will be my best video yet although episode three before you guys click out i think we got some shit i think we, we did some really dope shit it's just there was no, there was no fluidity in the videos. I was kind of just here, here, there, this, filming this, filming that, filming there. Just randomly, I wasn't really, I didn't really do an intro. I didn't really even do an outro. I was just kind of filming the, the shit that I did that week. This week's episode, I thought it would be better if I just sat through the episode with, with the viewers. I think it would just be a cool idea anyway. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the vlog. Brand new! Okay. So as you guys know, if, if you guys watched the previous videos, I'm on this little fitness journey, I guess you could call it. And I've been in the gym, man. I've been in the gym a fuck ton. I've been every, at least four or five times a week since we started on June 5th, I believe. I've been really, really committed. My diet has, has been way better than it's ever been in a while. Uh, although I'm not gonna lie and say I, I've been completely perfect. I, w I would say I haven't cheated. I've never really cheated. I haven't cheated at all. I've been I've been pretty good about what I've been putting on my body. It's just sometimes I'm putting a little bit too much. Sometimes I'm not putting enough. Like sometimes I just won't eat a certain amount. Sometimes I'll just eat a little bit too much. I'm still trying to find a groove on the diet. The workouts have been going amazing. Me and my brother actually went out to we went out to a little gym. We went out to a little gym out here in, in Riverside. And let me go ahead and show you what the gym is called, just so you guys know. I don't know if you can see that, but the HB training facility. Um, there was a dope gym out here in Riverside. We had a fucking crazy ass leg day, man. At least for me, it was my first time leg doing legs in fucking over six months, I think. I think last time I did legs was in December. Honestly, last time I did legs was in December. Before I had went on my Europe trip, I, I that was like I was kind of working out. I was kind of watching my diet just because I, I didn't want to be fucking too big on my Europe trip. But so I was in Europe in January. Um, I was in I was in Europe for nearly the whole month, and then I came back in February. And in February, uh, I was just chilling, eating whatever the fuck I wanted. I was still in vacation mode. And then March came around, and as you probably know. The quarantine and COVID-19 came around and really smacked everybody in the face. So no gyms were open, everything was closed, everything was on shutdown. I was like working out at home, you know, I was taking my dog out and stuff, we were going on hikes and shit like that, but I was still eating whatever the fuck I wanted. I was eating whatever the fuck I wanted, chips, junk food, I was going out for fast food, I did not give a fuck. I felt like I was just a walking piece of shit because I was sluggish, I felt terrible. I was in such a bad, like, mental space although but i was trying to figure shit out and 
and I, and I don't want to ramble too much, but yeah, I was in a, I was in a bad spot as far as health wise. Like June 24th, June 25th, we went out to the gym, and I was already I was already training and shit. I was already tra I've been training the past few weeks and stuff, just in the gym by myself, doing some cardio, lifting some weights. But this was like my first real leg day back, and you guys are gonna see the clips. Fucking, I wasn't, it wasn't a lot of weight. I, it really wasn't a lot of weight. I've lifted way heavier weight than, than what I lifted in those clips, but fuck that workout killed me, man. I had a great fucking workout, even though I died after, Jesus. But this was my first training session back and whole, like first good training session back. And I fucking killed legs, man. That shit was really fun. I had a good time, went to a dope gym. Is this place legit? They got the good, good shit for the hardcore athlete. Okay. fucking threw up in the middle of it. I was going so, I was just, I think I had like, uh, I had done two sets of 245 for like six reps. Come on. Good, let's go. There you go. Hey, come on. Let's go. Come on, you want five, five there, let's go. You want five, let's go. Grab it up. Yep, let's go. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yep. And and it's not a lot of weight, but after not training for six months, going that fucking hard, whoo, I was done. And then I fucking ended up going to the bathroom and puking my fucking whole lunch out that I had ate that day. But sometimes when you get into that fucking groove and you're pushing that fucking weight and you're really trying to fucking grow. Sometimes you push yourself to that limit to where you just gotta fucking puke and it is what it is, it happens. But nevertheless, we had a great fucking workout. Me and my bro, we went in, we went crazy. But yeah, man, we, we had a killer fucking workout. We really did have a killer fucking workout. Ended that workout, ended up next day, I believe it was like a Friday or a Thursday. And I might've just went to the gym on some regular shit. But I remember that week of, that Friday though, I don't know if it was the day right after that training session or a few days after that training session, but that Friday, I ended up, do I even wanna put this in the vlog? Do I even wanna put this in the video? Cause it was a fucking fail. We failed. It was a, we had a good time, but we failed. We, we pretty much failed. All right. We're bored out of our fucking mind. Where are we going? Morongo! Morongo! Morongo time! Yes, sir. Me and my cousin Kevin, some of you may or may not know him, we went out to Morongo. As a matter of fact, speaking of the fucking devil, Hold on, hold on. Hold up, hello? Hold up, hold up. Answer FaceTime. Where you at? Look what I'm doing right now. 
I'm, I'm filming my... Uh... So I just interrupted? You just interrupted, but the thing is, I was talking about you literally right before you caught, like, you'll see it in the video, I was talking about you. Bad or good? I was telling him how we failed at Morongo. Oh. <laughs> no, you fucked us up. You fucked us up. But... Oh no, we not. <laughs> we not. Flip me around, I'll tell you. Bro, bro told the cashier, he was like, we, we cashed out like a quick hundred just to see how it was gonna go. He told the cashier, I'm gonna come back with double this. I said, I go back and watch. I said, I, that's what I told the cashier, I was like, I was like, I, I grabbed my hundred and I was like, I'm gonna be right back with double this. Why? I'm gonna be right back with double this. And she yeah, said, she said, yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. And we were out 15 minutes later with no hunting. What are we in? Oh, we're in what are we Pontiac, living in today? We're in a Pontiac G8. Uh, not too known in the streets, but it makes a lot of power. Is that shit they never heard of? Is that shit they never heard of. <laughs> okay. Hello, bro. Is this you? At the moment. Is this I think I think you're missing. A, I think you're missing a piece. I, I think you're missing a piece, bro. I have him in my house. Hey, 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 bro. I think, Man, I think you're missing a piece, bro. I got him, bro. <laughs> so, so, like, four Man, or five videos from now, you're going to have to get a redo. This We're doing a redo on this shit? this shit going to be blue. this shit is whack. And just fucking <laughs> shiny. Okay, bet. Oh, Shout out, out my guy. Somebody. I know who he is. I guess you a whole fighter. A young nigga out here thugging at the chop house. Ooh. I never got a lie about. Ooh. But let me see that ass out. I ain't a lame. I ain't finna throw no cash out. And this a word not a dead show. Pass out. Huh? You will pass out. And this a word not a dead show. Pass out. I just play with it. Though. I top shotter tryna knock down the whole block. It won't sneak, won't snitch, won't do cops. Four goof trippin' out here thuggin' out the drop top. Niggas is thuggin' out here tryna get paid. Bounce back sock, niggas like Johnny Cage. Niggas is thuggin' out here tryna get paid. Niggas is thuggin' out here tryna get had no plans we wanted to go out and do something he had never been to a casino I'm, i like my blackjack shit i like to play a little, little poker here and there i'm a little gambler on the side so we thought it was a, a good idea to go head out to morongo's his first time i thought i could make a little bit of cash but like like you just heard that was not the case that was that still don't know if i'm gonna put that in the video or not then that day ended and I really don't remember exactly what I did on that Saturday. Um, but yeah. Then the next day comes along, that's Sunday. And that is the 28th. As you guys have probably seen if you follow me on Instagram, we, uh, me and uh, the same dude, Kevin, we went out to LA, we went out to South Central, and we stopped by, I guess what, what people know them as, it's called the Sideshow. It's called like a car Sideshow. People don't really call it People don't really call it that though. As far as like, the people who are in the scene, they just call them takeovers. Just, we went to like a little takeover, little Sunday fun day. Uh, it was called Wet and Wild. They're doing like balloon, like water balloons and water guns, but I wasn't doing any of that shit. You're not wetting me at all. We're starting to vlog on a block today. We're starting it in the city. See like when I'm out here, it's like, I'm okay. like. Like, my heart is at ease. Yeah. Them blue lights is ringing. Them blue lights is ringing. 
you see my Instagram vid, you saw I got some pretty dope shots. Saw met some pretty cool people. Had a really good time. Why am I eating and talking? That's pretty much that. But I just kind of wanted to fill in the gaps a little bit because there was no direction in any of the shots. I didn't want to just fucking put Jim, Morongo, Takeover. Like it would have just been so fucking dumb. We had a dope week, episode three. A lot cooler if, if I would have actually fucking done my part, but I didn't obviously. I'm gonna clean up some of the some of the mistakes I made, not make those mistakes again, just to make episode four a little bit better. Episode four is gonna be a lot different, it's gonna be way more coherent. And episode four will be the start of July. So we're gonna do a weigh-in for the for that for that video. We're gonna do like a little health check again for that video. And I think we're gonna do a grocery store vlog for that video too. I think I think we need to get some some good groceries and shit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the outro now. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to to have made four videos by now and still have been motivated and still put my all into it if it wasn't for you guys. The amount of support you guys show is is unfucking real. It just it motivates me. It puts a fire into my it puts a fire into my heart. It it just really it really keeps me going. It puts gas in my tank and. I'm shooting for the stars. Even though these videos probably aren't the best, I'm not the best YouTuber, I'm not the funniest guy, I'm not the most look good looking guy. But man, I'm really trying with this shit. I'm really trying with this fitness shit, man. But I don't mean to get too, uh, too emotional or whatever, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. It helps me out way more, way more than you guys think. Even just leaving like a good job it helps out just me getting noticed on YouTube and it, they'll promote it a little bit if they see some traction on it. So if you guys could just please support in any way, it's completely free, I promise. But like I said in a few videos, I think uh, episode one, I wanted to end these these vlogs on a quote. And I've been writing quotes in my, in my notepad. Just gotta find it. So the, the quote I wanted to end the video on today is a simple Drake quote, as corny as it is. I think the quote itself isn't really like the, the, the best quote, but I think the meaning, I think what the quote really means is something that really resonates with me. Uh, the quote is, you don't worry. The quote is, you don't worry about fitting in when you're custom made. It's just, it's a corny Drake quote, but honestly, if you don't worry about fitting in when you're custom made, like it's just, it's a great thing to live by. I think we all are, are unique in our own ways. We're all different in our own ways. and. I, at least for me, I caught myself trying to want, like, I caught myself wanting to fit in and wanting to be a part of these, like, cool, not necessarily cool, but, like, these groups that I thought were, were dope and groups that I wanted to be a part of. And But I thought I had to, I thought I had to be a certain way, act a certain way, do shit a certain way, and, and that's how you got into places and that's how you did shit. But honestly, I think if you just be yourself, you just be real, you're authentic, you stand on your ten toes, you live by your code of ethics, I think that that like you don't have to worry about fitting in like i'm not worried about fitting in no more i'm not worried about who accept me who accepts me who likes me who doesn't like me i'm not worried about that shit no more i'm just worried about being the best self i can be and i think that's a a, a big theme in this youtube video in this youtube channel a major theme is just being yourself and trying to to, to battle the demons within you to become a better self to, to be a better person and to just evolve and constantly constantly trying to be better than you were yesterday and i think that 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 quote that quote is a, is a good one it's a good one it's not the best quote but it's a good one anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next week with episode four please like please subscribe follow all my socials um, and yeah man don't worry about fitting in when you're custom made we both have no neck. No neck. No neck. No neck. The no neck bottles. No neck. Why ain't you got no neck? I don't know why I got no neck. I'll take this to go. It all started five burgers and seven <laughs> and, and seven fast food industries ago.